Hello everyone, welcome to Webot Academy. So in the last lecture, we have learned how to use the insert statement, how to insert data from this project into our database. And in this video, we will check out the problem why the data are being inserted twice. Okay, so let us repeat the problem once again. So I have landed to this URL and just below in the terminal, I will write my SQL, this U and root, and then we will uh, write use YouTube, which is the database we have recently created. And now I will write select SCADCT, select all, means select star from table name, and the name of the table is customers, select star from customers, select stars from customers. And we can see that the data has been inserted several times. Okay, so one, two, three, four, we can see several times the data has been inserted. Now let us do one thing. We will implement a method for that. I will now write some HTML codes over here. I will go to uh, here. I will change it to HTML. And then I will write the HTML tag. And let us close the HTML tag here. Uh, inside the body, I will create one form. And the action will be post. And then let us close the form. Here, I will write a label. And name is input text name. Let us give it a break. And then let us write after name we can write email and then mobile and then password and then let us use the bit so the we have to also give it a name of this button name of the button is submit underscore form all right now i will here in php i will use the if is set method let us now change it to php and here i will write if is set dollar underscore post is submit underscore form in that case we will be inserting next here i will write dollar name is dollar underscore post and the name which we have used here uh, is named sorry we have used name over here and let us write name let me close it and then the auto suggest should give me all the codes i can see all the codes here all right and all the errors have now been done. Let me save it. And now I will reload it. I cannot see anything in images like uh, record data has been inserted successfully. And if I write name, in case of name, let me write Abinas. And here, let me give it a number, something like this. And one, two, three. And if I click on the submit button, I can now see record inserted successfully. And if I write select star from customers, enter. And now i'm not able to see any data over here why because we have not fixed this uh, we have not corrected it and uh, here let us write name in case of value one i'll be writing name in case of email i'll be writing email in case of mobile i'll be writing mobile and in case of password we'll be writing password now i will again go to the url in our blog i will be giving the link of this url in the description and then if I just uh, go to the bottom of the page, I can see did it from your table and where ID is some ID. So here I will not be selecting any ID. I will delete all the previous data. So here I will write delete from customers. And I can see 27 rows affected means all the data from our customer table has been deleted. Now I will again check select all data from customers and I will hit enter. And now I can see I have not written the word from. So select star from customers. Enter. And now I can see the customer data is totally empty. Now, if I just, just go to this table and reload it once again, this page, sorry, and reload it once again. And let us write the name as first person. Then the email, something like we whatever did it something. And then the password, uh, email, mobile number, and then the password. And if I click on the submit button, I can see record inserted successfully. And if I come to this terminal, and here if I write select star from customers, then I'll be able to see that there is only one person with the ID 28. And the name of the person is first person. Here is the email ID, is the mobile number, and this is the user password. So we have successfully corrected the process how to insert any data in this table. 
Now we can test the other functions like edit, update, and delete. So in the next video, I'll be showing you how to fetch the data directly from the database and show it in this project. And in the subsequent video, I will be showing you how to update those data and how to delete those data. So once it is complete, then we will download any template from the external world, like from any websites uh, presented in Google. And then we will make a full-fledged application uh, built using PSP, which we can tell as a full-stake PSP problem. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel for more updates.